So I'm just reading in continuation. And it says, devoid of the verbant hues that had enveloped it years before civilizations had commenced. So what the poet is trying, the poetess is trying to say in this, uh, in these lines, is that now the tiger. Imagine, as I said, you have to imagine things. The tiger is all alone. She has a group of people who maybe, probably are uh, have come to kill her and her baby, and uh, all she can see is that there's nothing. She doesn't have a home to run away to, and uh, now the, the the forest is gone. And uh, everything has been cut by these people. And she's just picturizing and trying to imagine what her home used to look like. It says devoid of the verb and use. Now, devoid here means it has been freed. Devoid usually means free from. Here in this situation, it means that it has been uh, freed. It has been cut down. The forest has been cut down of the verb and use. Verb and means vegetation, green forests. Uh, trees, plants, and hues means color shade. So because forests are meant to be green, so now the poet is trying to, poet is trying to say that the forest has been cut by these people, erased by these people completely. And all the verb and the green trees and plants and beautiful flowers and everything is gone. Hue means color, green shade, everything. The vegetation is gone. Something that animals used to live on has, has is, is gone. That had enveloped it years before civilizations had commenced. A forest cannot can, cannot be uh, cannot cannot be um, all full grown in a day. You need to understand that it takes ages and ages before uh, a patch of land is completely uh, turns into a into a green grassland or a forest or or it takes many many years before you can see uh, trees all full grown up ready to give you shade and 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 fruits and shelter so the same thing the poet is trying to say that all those trees which used to stand there testify give examples and give proof of whatever those trees must have seen and experienced in so many years how uh, the maybe here the poet is just trying to give you an example about how early man you must have uh, read that in history how early man started um, living and and started farming uh, cutting a patch of land so these trees must have stood uh, these these forests must have been standing there since 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 that time and everything has been erased everything has been cut now all you can see is 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 empty land and her home is gone very, very sadly, all these creatures and these animals, their home has been, dis they, are, they are forced to displace, they are forced to run away. And at the same time, now the situation is that uh, she knows that uh, these animals, are, these people are going to, are, 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 are wanting to kill her and her baby. They caught sight of her with her baby cub. Now, you know, mothers are usually very, uh, it's a very difficult situation for an animal to run with a baby, with a cub. It may be easier, maybe easier for a tiger to run away, but I'm sure no mother will leave her baby and run away. So they caught sight of her. They is referred to all those people who, who came to, to destroy the jungle and who destroyed the jungle eventually. And they caught sight of her. Sight means eyesight. Sight means eyes. That means they looked, they saw, and they saw this tiger mom with her cub, with her baby cub. And they saw how this mom is so afraid with wide eyes and she's holding her baby so tight. And this is a very sensitive, at the same time, a very easy uh, uh, situation uh, for these people in, in case if they are planning to catch or kill the, the tiger. It's a very easy um, situation for them. Approvingly not doting their shining and silken fur. So... The lions are mentioning that they want, maybe they are poachers, they are smugglers. Uh, poachers and smugglers are people who, who come and who kill animals illegally. Most of the animals living in the wild these days are protected. They come under the Wildlife Protection Act of India because uh, we are talking about uh, um, this situation. Approvingly, and in fact, any wildlife protection in any country, they have a protection act in any country that we are talking about. Approvingly noting their shining silken hair. 
now everybody is happy because now they have a very easy bait and everybody is happy because now they can see that there's there's a tiger mom so she there's no way she's going to run away and there's a baby also and now they're noticing on the silken silken hair me smooth in this reference in this poem it has been referred to smooth beautiful striped fur of tigers tigers are unfortunately killed and smuggled for their skin for their bone uh, bones and for their teeth and uh, for their fur so silken fur and everybody's approving everybody is very happy and they are probably they are agreeing that that uh, they'll if if they if they manage to to catch this animal they'll probably fetch a lot of money and uh, silken hair silken fur sorry they're powerful teeth tigers god has given tigers very very strong teeth for hunting and for eating for protect protecting themselves so maybe the tiger is growling is rolling it's trying to scare these people away to protect her baby her cub